Lagos is an aquatic land, no doubt. But do you have an idea of how many islands live on its territory? Well, one of it is situated in the Amuwa Dauphin local government area of the state. Welcome to Ituago. A community with over 5,000 residents and about 10 different ethnic groups ranging from Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Ego, but predominantly Ilaje people. It was born. That in 1905. Ilaje low do not yet. To buy a poor little bit of a junior. You see, Uncle Lee, I want a back on by one legio, I want Ibo, Calaba, Ibo, Ausa, Subon, you set up the needy little for junior and Ilaje, Ilaje Luni, Luya. You say, Gala, then she. Iba, Iba, yeah. I live for over popular news as fishing community, but there are other petty trading and other uh, jobs that take place in the communities. Because there are some people that are government workers. There are some people that don't, their business doesn't even relate to fishing. They are still making their daily activities. The Triangle is over 4,000 populations. It's over 4,000 populations. And there are many ethnics that come together that live in the Triangle. Like the Lages, the Yorubas, the Absas. Ibos and other ethnic uh, Calabas. Calabas, those are, come, that, those are from the uh, five walls. Those are middle beds and so on. Many. Known for their special skills in fishing, the area of specialization is in crawfish. According to them, that was what the progenitor of the land hunted for. In the world of Sydney Harris, the whole purpose of education is to turn mirrors to windows. And in achieving this, children of Itsuwago travel across the sea on daily basis. A situation that has left many sad memories and a bitter taste in the community. Considering the risk involved in seeking knowledge to become a better person in the future, the Community Development Association came up with an idea of establishing a school to stop the travails. Lagos Community Updates visited Ituago to learn more about their plights. In terms of education, the community people really try their mankind self to achieve their goals, some of the education. When they look to the lapses and the step back of the education, they, they, they come together speaking one voice, being a unity. That's let's put on what we call education so that our children can have a brighter future. So in 2009, they formed what they call community development organizations. So in that organization, they established primary school. Gradually, when they say that they have, the thing is coming up, it will be better that we have a secondary school. So they also establish a secondary school. With the collective effort of the community CDAs, superheaded by Reverend Matthias Esamuri. Since then, it has been a collective effort of the community to manage the school. 
There are some people finance materials they won't want to build the structure there. I mean the former structure we have before the government comes to build the secondary school. There are some people finance cement, gravel, sand, block. There are some people that comes with money so that we have a, a what we call a structure to form a building there. It is one thing to desire something, but when an idea remains in the book, it will never materialize. The CDA members in its Itswago took their children's destiny in their own hands and made a dream project a reality, thereby complementing the work of Governor Akiomi Ambody on infrastructure and education. This school was founded as a result of the destiny of our children, for them to be saved from illiteracy, and it is one of their rights to be educated. And they find it difficult to cross the water because of the dangers. Sometimes their boat will cover side, and we lost a lot of the students. So we don't want all those things, as many that, can, that are not used to the water, so that they can be saved here. So the community now decided to establish the school to save the souls of the students. But there's a case happened, even that very year, there are some uh, group of students crossing this water. There was heavy winds that carried the boat. All the students, both the teachers inside, they lost their life. So that very year, the commissioner said, no, enough is enough for this. Let this school be here. By the time governments we hear their cry, they will be able to come to their aid. In terms of uh, security, it's one going youth have, uh, you know, tried a lot, you know, like um, about six or seven years back, we usually some miscreants will, you know, will leave the town, come to this place, and they were trying, you know, trying to cut away with things in this place. Like our people, you know, when you keep generator outside, they will carry it away and all that. So Itwagon youth have tried a lot because we don't have any security in this place. And we, the youth, we took it upon ourselves, you know, to be guiding the community every now and then to make sure the community is safe. One of the largest producers of seafoods in Nigeria, one would certainly believe that all the pupils were settled for fish farming as a profession. But the ambition of these 12 year old junior secondary school students will amaze you. My name is Ajini Tale Idum. I'm in GSS2. I would like to become a doctor to save people's life if Governor Abode can provide all this equipment for us. It is the hope of these pupils that very soon. The community self-help project will be completed and put a stop to the stress of traveling across the sea to access qualitative education. When I came, I saw most children not going to school. The government schools, they are very, very far from us. So those who had the opportunity to go, they suffered a lot. This made me to call people and then we came together to decide what to do and we started this one. Every day, men and women passionate about creating a better life for their communities are waking residents from sleep. They are building schools to make their children read, clinics to make their families healthy and setting up vigilante groups to protect our properties. Governor Akewumi Ambode seeks the hand of fellowship of these great champions of progress whose mother's self-help efforts show the energy of our vibrant states. Welcome to your homes. Welcome to Lagos Community Update, the television program that's watched communities in action. Showing on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7.30 p.m. on LTV. Lagos Community Update, telling the story of your community. Your contributions to make your community a better place lie solely in your hands. So let's make it happen. And that's much we can take in today's episode of Lagos Community Update. 
Till I come your way next time, I am Adejoke Shoda in the Adenyoju.